The Crammed Cube is a twisty puzzle designed to showcase an unusual permutation group, Mathieu M11, over its 12 edge pieces. Later in the video, I'll explain some of the theory behind this group and why it matters when solving the puzzle. This puzzle has 12 edge pieces like on an ordinary cube, except one of the pieces was removed from the static orange and green edge and then crammed into the red and white slot. This arrangement was necessary to make the group actions fit over cubic geometry. The mechanism uses a combination of gears and universal joints to make the six corners turn in two groups of three. Since one of the corners had to be lifted to make room for the extra edge, I use magnets to keep them from rattling around in the resulting gaps. When solving puzzles with complicated groups, it can be useful to compare their subgroups to something tangible. This group's one-point stabilizer the subgroup that's expressed after solving one piece is the symmetry group of an abstract four-dimensional polytope called the 11 cell. I realize that this might not seem any more tangible, but this is an object that you can visualize on your computer. I linked to this magic 11 cell puzzle in the description if you want to look at it yourself. The 11 cell is made up of 11 projective icosahedrons attached at their faces. This render shows one cell in the center and two copies of its other 10 cells surrounding it. Since this is projective space, the icosahedrons on opposite sides are one and the same, just reflections of each other. The 11 cell has a total of 660 unique ways to orient it in space by rotating it. There are lots of axes on which to rotate the object, but I'll focus on just the rotations that keep the gray cell in the middle. Rotations along the gray icosahedron's vertices move the other 10 in a pair of 5 cycles. Rotations along a triangular face fix another cell in addition to the gray one, moving the other 9 cells in 3 cycles. There are also 180 degree rotations perpendicular to the edges that fix a total of 3 cells and swap the others. There are a total of 60 unique rotations that preserve any one cell's position. This group of order 60 is itself a subgroup of the 11 cell symmetry. You can color the sides of an ordinary icosahedron to get a 3D object whose rotational symmetries represent this subgroup. Since this new subgroup was derived by fixing one cell on the 4D polytope, you get the same subgroup by solving another piece on the crammed cube. When I solve this puzzle, I start by correctly placing the two red and white pieces. I came up with some algorithms named A, B, and C that each perform a different pair of five cycles. I then labeled an icosahedron in a way that maps its rotations to the motion of the puzzle pieces when performing the algorithms. So if I'm solving the crammed cube and identify a five cycle where white-green is in the white-blue slot, yellow-green is in the white-green slot, and so on, I can look at my projective icosahedron and see that all those pieces in the cycle surround the A vertex. To get white-blue back into white-green's current position, I can make two rotations on A, or perform the A algorithm twice. There are more complicated cases that require rotations on other axes. In this case, I need to swap white-green with yellow-green. This requires rotating the entire projective icosahedron upside down on an edge axis. But sticking to the known algorithms, the sequence A, B inverse, A, C, C does just that, swapping white green with yellow green. The crammed cube is for sale on quirkycubes.com. You can also try it out on a simulator with the link in the description. Thanks for watching.